1926 and war started in 1939. Now, if my arithmetic is right, I was 13. Wait, oh dear. Okay, so what about you? I was older than her, I was 14. Okay, and Gladys? <laughs> and I was six. Six. So you're, you're, you're the babe of the world. Okay. You don't remember much, though. I know, I remember quite a lot. I remember the day, the day war broke out. There's yeah. a comedian that does that, doesn't there? Well, I remember that. Oh, so and I. we expected that to be gassed, because I come from Surrey. And we were expecting, as soon as war broke out, Mum had lots of blankets soaking in the bath. Oh, yeah. So the minute the bath, the, the, of course, it, the war was declared and immediately there was an air raid siren. Yeah. So I had to run across the road to get the little girl from next door to bring into ours so that we'd all be saved from the gas, you see. So this it's was more the, scary. This, this was your, your memory of the day the war, day war broke, broke out. out. Yeah. So the and then at Leah's farm at Sproston, a bomb dropped there. And um, in Sandwich, bombs dropped there. Well, Ty was in the Brownies then. And the, uh, we used to, the Brownies used to meet in that corner over there, yeah. the children's corner. And if the Brown Owl, when the, at the infant schools, I don't know if people, re well, people will remember the infant schools, the dugouts, the sh air raid shelters were behind. And Brown Owl used to have to take us across the road to the mm. air raid shelters when um, the siren went. And we, yeah. did, we wanted to do something. So a friend of mine, uh, we had no lavender to make lavender bags. So we got um, mothballs <laughs> and made little bags and put three mothballs in each bag and sold them for a penny each. And we had a form in front of, by the avenues and sold them for a penny a bag. And something else, we had concerts on a Saturday and we charged a penny if you sat at the front and we used to sing and, and pretend to tap dance and do all and we used to send the money to the um, Red Cross. Mm. It was only a bit but I'm sure it helped. That's right. When, when you came up you had to report to the Labour Exchange and they would tell you where you went. So they made me go to, up to Byerley yeah. in the, and then where they, they built bombers, I was in the time office. And then when that, because they were making Wellington bombers, well, which, yeah. Yeah, which was quite a good thing, you know. Yeah. Smell, the smell of um, nail varnish, where they used to varnish them. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.